been working on these Royal Enfield bullet cam followers after um, over the years we've experienced one or two odd broken ones in the racing bikes and I had one uh, break at Anglesey in the 500 which uh, has considerable sort of strain and stresses on its valve gear so I thought I'd just not only change a cam follower but see if I could sort of improve slightly on uh, how they come as standard. Now admittedly these are used Redditch ones but I'd rather put a used Redditch one in than a new Indian one to be honest and uh, if we have a look there's one as they come and where the stem meets the base you may even just be able to see there's a sort of faint line there which could possibly be where a crack might start when they do fail they have to be under a lot of stress a lot of revs with uh, high lift cams and strong valve springs to uh, damage them <clears throat> but of course in racing uh, we've got all those and they do break and occasionally they can break in road bikes as well so anyway we're looking at an unmodified one here on the right and on the left this shiny one is the one I've been working on what I've done is I've ground and wasted radius if you like that area of the stem very slightly which has enabled me to put a nice radius here as well where that line where the stem joins the base was on the other one so hopefully by getting rid of that line and putting a radius there it will probably resist breakage much better than that one even though there's actually less metal by a slight margin in this area it's all radius there and the back of the cam follower was polished as well both of these are being worked on to be kept either as spares or to go in the racing engine I've already cleaned up the working faces over a period these usually perfectly flat faces that you get on the followers as they leave the factory wear and they sort of go a bit saucer shaped almost and these were no exception so what I've done is I've ground them flat again but also because we've got high lift cams and just to help keep the valves away from the piston at the critical opening and closing points is I've just put a very slight radius on the edge of them which just when the inlet valves opening it won't open by quite such a large amount initially so it'll just keep it out of the way of the piston that little bit longer when it shuts it doesn't really matter as far as the piston is concerned because it's well out of the way but the exhaust valve similarly it doesn't really matter too much when it opens but when it's closing that's when it can get into close proximity with the exhaust valve uh, and piston sorry so the slight radius again on follower just allows that exhaust valve just to shut that nanosecond earlier to get it out of the way of the piston if you're running extreme cam timings or long cam durations so with any luck I'll put these in well this one and this one when it's sorted into the engine as replacements for the broken one which we had at Anglesey recently and also I noticed that the exhaust cam follower had actually broken the foot had sheared right off the stem but the inlet follower is very slightly bent as well so that one was on its way out so hopefully this might be a little bit tougher than a standard one we'll have to put it in and see how it goes fingers crossed it should all be all right <laughs> 